In this video, we're going to create a virtual wire interface on our Palo Alto. Now, virtual wire interface differs from the other types of interfaces that we talked about before. Uh, we initially talked about layer three, which had an IP address. And then we also talked about a layer two uh, interface, which had a MAC address. However, a virtual wire is essentially, it's a wire that connects multiple devices. Uh, previous, for, for instance, with the layer two, we talked about it acting as a switch, uh, connecting the two devices together. Um, with a virtual wire, essentially it is a straight line with the Palo Alto attached to it. Uh, there is no MAC address, no nothing that's assigned to it. Uh, as, soon, as long as, as far as the end clients that are concerned uh, on each side here, there is no device separating them even though the Palo Alto is there watching and possibly manipulating the traffic that's in between them. Let's see how that works. So to configure a virtual wire, we come over to the network tab. Uh, we'll have to start off by creating a new zone. Let's see, add. Uh, type it's going to be a virtual wire and let's call this um, vwire I suck at naming uh, so we'll just call this the vwire zone and then we go up to interfaces and we can specify ethernet 1.6 and 1.7 are the two, inter two devices that we'll be using uh, so interface type virtual wire security zone we'll specify the vwire and then the virtual wire, we have to actually create a virtual wire device. There's currently none, so I can go ahead and click on the new virtual wire. Go ahead and give it a name here. Test vWire. Interface one, well, that's currently none and none, so we'll just say okay and okay. And then we'll go ahead and configure Ethernet 1.7 the same way. Interface type virtual wire. Now we'll specify the wire and our security zone. And okay. Let's see. When that's done, if we come over to the virtual wires, we should be able to see it right here. We see our uh, virtual wire name. We see our interface one and interface two, since there are always two interfaces. Uh, we go ahead and we click commit and it will apply those changes. So basically what we're doing here is oftentimes what's referred to as a bump on a wire. Uh, basically the, the two sides of the network are connected together. There's a small bump that doesn't change any addressing or any other poly configuration to the, to the wire or to the network. However, it can monitor and still uh, apply policies accordingly.